Welcome to all you wonderful people, hope you're all fine, well and having a great day. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Andesign S2 AI Motion Tracker, excellent for capturing stunts or if you just want a personal cameraman for vlogging. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, let's jump right into this. Okay, so this is a 360 degree AI motion tracker. It doesn't require any app or any controls, you can just use it with a simple gesture. I got this from Amazon and it cost $89.99 in the UK at the time of recording. So we get the complimentary AC lens cloth and then we get a black plastic phone mount which is mostly plastic but there are some metal bits on there namely the one quarter inch threaded pole at the bottom for extra mounting options. It comes off that does so you could also use that with other tripods and other universal mounts. We have a forward and backward tilt which isn't adjustable and I would say that that may be the weak point over time but it feels pretty stiff for now. Then we have the circular gear on the back which allows for rotation of your smart device. There's little teeth inside that when snug lock it into place and there shouldn't be an issue there. On to the actual AI tracker then, this is inside another little box. I wonder why they actually packaged it like that but it's fine and it's a nice well presented box kind of like an apple theme. I wish they had figured a way to get it all into one package and cut down on the packaging a little bit but it's not a major issue here as it's not plastic. Okay so some of the main features then include facial recognition, 26 inch pitch adjustment, gesture control, no application required, a 2500 milliamp hour battery, 10 degree downward tilt and a 360 degree horizontal track. Inside this box then we have a generic USB A to C cable in white and it's plastic, pretty short but it will get the job done. The unit itself is circular and it has a brushed aluminium look though it is mostly plastic. It has a USB-C port on the rear for charging and as I mentioned it's got a pretty good 2 hour charge time and 3 hours run time. Let's try and get some extra light here, that's a little better. It feels quite light though it is heavy enough that if you dropped it several times it might cause you an issue. Feels pretty well made overall, all of the edges are nice and smooth and flush. It is in two segments, the top is the rotating segment. You've got four sturdy feet at the bottom that have got little rubber grips on so you could put it on any flat surface pretty much. It's also got the one quarter inch mounting thread at the bottom again so it could also be connected to universal tripods and camera stands. It has very user friendly functions, there's a simple on and off power switch on the front, a little red indication light that will go green when you're actively using it. So onto smartphone mounting then, we have this little wheel here at the back that we rotate anti-clockwise to tighten or clockwise to loosen it off. The wedge is removable and that gives us a little more space to play with but I do have a couple of issues here. Firstly the cutout, most smartphones have a home button and design did think of this but in my opinion I'd like a little more wiggle room or better still for it to be completely adjustable. Secondly the way the holder docks onto the thread, because of its shape it doesn't sit flush or tidy, that's what the one quarter inch thread is included for and it gives you that extra reach that you need. I would prefer a cleaner look, especially after all the effort that Andesign went into, into making this device look compact and clean. On to practical testing now then, you hold the power button down for around 2 seconds until you see the red light. When you're ready to roll the cameras, stand in front of the AI lens, do the OK gesture and then you should see the light go green and the ball will start to track your movement. You hold out the palm of your hand to stop it. As you can see here it tracks pretty well, I'm moving left and right here and it seems to be tracking nice and smooth. I will add the smartphone to this in a minute just so we can check some footage back to make sure that we haven't got any unwanted jerks or things like that but it does look pretty smooth if I'm honest. By crouching you can see that it also tracks me in the lower position and then back quite well. Let's add a smart device to this then, I've used an old Samsung because this phone is actually quite heavy and if it holds this phone and functions well with this, it should pretty much work with any other phone. 
So yeah, with the added weight, you can see a little bit of wobble, but nothing out of the ordinary. Okay, so this is a normal one quarter inch tripod mount. Then I'm just going to put the shoe mount onto the bottom. This will let us mount this onto any tripod pretty much. I'm using one of my smaller ones here and it fits just perfect. But like I said, it should pretty much fit on any tripod. Okay, so onto my complaints now and there are a few things to note. One being, as I stand directly behind any sort of key light, the AI loses track of you. I'm guessing this is because of the light exposure, but this is also the same for outdoors, so if you're stood outside and there's direct sunlight behind you, or if you have a, a very bright key light in between you and the AI tracker, it will struggle to track you. This is under stress testing though, and I am actually looking for faults here, so bear this in mind, under normal circumstances, you shouldn't come across this issue too much. Next, no battery indicator. Anything would be better than nothing. And my final complaint, you can hear the motor very slightly. If I let you guys listen here for a minute, you'll hear the motor with each movement, especially the fast jerky ones. Okay, so overall, this Andesign S2 Motion Tracker, aka the Personal Cameraman, is totally worth the $89.99, in my opinion. Alright, it's more of a novel item than an essential piece of kit, but for what it is, it functions okay. If you just want it for fun, to take to your local skate park, or just for vlogging in your bedroom, it's very easy to set up, user-friendly, and you can use it right away, right out of the box. I like the fact that there's no applications or setup process. It's fairly well made overall. It has a few teething issues as I've mentioned, but it's not claiming to be the latest and greatest gadget. It's priced about right for what it is. We give it 4 stars out of 5, it does lose a point for the previously mentioned issues. I'll leave links in the description as always, and I'm not linked to Andy Sign in any way, this is just my personal opinion. Guys, if you found any part of this video helpful at all, leave a thumbs up. If you disliked it, leave a thumbs down. Subscribe to the channel with your notifications on so you never miss any future uploads. Thanks to each and every one of you guys for being here today. I really do appreciate that. Until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. I'm Craig, this is Really Random Reviews, and I'll see you in my next video.